Hi guys, my name is Josh Miller and today we're going to be continuing our unit on reading tools. Today we're going to be talking about an issue that a lot of you guys have, which is when you're reading a text, you come across a word you don't understand, you don't have a dictionary around it, you have no idea what it means. So we're going to be using something called context clues to get around that. A context clue is when we use the information that the author gives us in the text to help us understand what the word means without using a dictionary. So today I'm going to go over the three steps we're going to use when we find a word we don't understand, then we're going to go into the four types of context clues, we're going to do a short example to make sure you guys understand it, and we're going to finish off with the song. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, so when you come across a word you don't understand, the first step you do is to circle and underline it. This is a super important step because when you're reading a super complicated text, there can be a lot of words you don't understand. And circling and underlining a word makes sure you don't get distracted by other information and can focus on that word. The next thing we do is to go back and reread that sentence. Oftentimes this helps because it helps us understand information we might have missed the first time around. If it's not helping us, it helps also reread the sentence before and after. Third thing we're going to do is look for signal words. Signal words are a kind of word that's going to tell us what kind of context clue to use. This is going to make more sense when we go into our examples of types of context clues. Alright, so over here I have four types of context clues. I like to use the acronym EASE to remember them because once you memorize all of them, Finding out what a word in context means can become super easy. <laughs> I know. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain each type to you, and when I do, I'm going to ask one of you to read out the sentence and tell me what the word means and why it's an example of this type of context clue. Alright? So the first one is explanation. An explanation is when an author explains what a word means, often with a scenario. The signal words for this are because and when. So, who wants to read out the sentence? Sarah. Jubilant because she found out her loving sister was getting married. Awesome. So why do you think that's, uh, what do you think jubilant means? Really happy. Really yeah. excited. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that in the sentence? Uh, because it uses the word because and it's a happy event after. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have synonym. A synonym is when an author gives words with the same meaning. Signal words for this can be also, or, similarly, and to. Who wants to read out this sentence? Damn. Jack stepped into an atrium or a large entrance and thought it was beautiful. Alright, so what do you think the word atrium means in this sentence? I think it's a large entrance. And, <laughs> yeah, and why do you think it's a example of a synonym? Because there's the signal word or. Yeah, perfect. Great job. Alright, now we have antonym. An antonym is when an author gives words with the opposite meaning, what the word doesn't mean, to help us understand what it means. So signal words for this are unlike, however, although, but. Who wants to go give a shot at this sentence? Alicia. Unlike most times after a test, when Rachel felt hopeful and brave, right now she felt despondent. Good job. And what do you think the word despondent means? Probably means nervous or worried because it has the signal word unlike and it's the opposite. Opposite of what? Hopeful and brave. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And finally, we have example. An example is when the author lists types of things that might match the word. So the words for this are such as, including, for instance, who wants to read out this one? Nick. His boss warned him not to show up to work unkept, such as with messy hair, dirty clothes, and broken shoes. So what do you think unkept means in this context? I think it means messy and unorganized. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that? Because the author uses such as followed by a few examples. That's perfect. All right, so now we're going to do a small activity. You guys have sheets of paper with a couple examples in front of you. Just turn into a quick pair share, and then we're going to go over sentences together. Sound good? Yes. All right, who wants to read out the first sentence for us? Alicia. Although Karen found the tuna sandwich repugnant, her brother thought it was delicious. All right, and so in this sentence, what do you think the word repugnant means? Um, gross, like right. the opposite of delicious. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of context clue do you think we're using it with the ease? Uh, an antonym. Yeah, exactly. And you're using the opposite of the words in the sentence. Who wants to read the second sentence full out for us? Dan. Colossal landmarks, including the Grand Canyon and Mount Everest, are popular tourist destinations. So what do you think the word colossal means in the sentence? I think it means big. And why do you think it means big? Because it's because the Grand Canyon and Mount Everest are big, and there's the word including, which are like synonyms. But actually, no, it's an explosion. Example. Yeah, it's an example. That's right. Good job. All right, guys. So the final thing we're going to do is I made a quick little song to help you remember how to use context clues and ease whenever you're doing your reading. Okay? So what's going to happen is I'm going to say a line, then you guys say a line. Repeat the line after me. And then once we're done, we're going to say the whole song together. Sound good? Yeah. 
Yep. All right, it's too much. We go to the little star, so it's a bit basic, but it's very easy to rhyme. When a word gets me confused. When a word gets, gets me confused. That's when I use context clues. That's, that's when, when I use context clues. Explanation and synonym. Explanation and synonym. Example and synonym. Example and synonym. I just remember the acronym is. I just remember the acronym is. I use it whenever I read. I use it whenever I read. All right, good job. Now it's all together. Ready? All right. Okay. One, two, three. When a word gets me confused, that's when I use context clues. Explanation and synonym, example and synonym. I just remember the acronym these. I use it whenever I read. All right, thank you guys so much. Woo! Awesome.